the recent sentencing of four Indian fishermen by the Delft court for trespassing in the Sea of Sri Lanka has ignited tensions, prompting protest actions among Tamil Nadu's fishing community. In response to the court's decision, the president of Ramesh Varam Fishermen's Association engaged in a dialogue with Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. The fishermen detained in Sri Lankan prisons must be released. The boats held by Sri Lanka Navy must also be released. As a permanent solution to the issue, Sri Lankan fishermen in Indian prisons and Sri Lankan boats must be released. The fishing community in Jaffna emphasized that there can be no further leniency or accommodation for any actions that violate established norms. The fishing community in the north have been very lenient with the fishermen from Tamil Nadu, despite the use of bottom trawling to pillage our marine resources. Therefore, we will no longer allow them to pillage the Sea of Sri Lanka using illegal methods. The Minister of Fisheries shared his perspective on the ongoing negotiations aimed at resolving the long-standing issue between the fishermen of Sri Lanka and India. I spoke with the Fisheries Minister of Tamil Nadu over the phone and again after they met with the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. They have consented to solve this, however, it will not transpire overnight. We hope for the quick implementation of a solution. A recent newspaper advertisement coinciding with the visit of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Tamil Nadu has ignited controversy. The advertisement, placed by the Tamil Nadu Fisheries Minister, prominently features an image of a rocket adorned with the Chinese flag and Chinese characters. Prime Minister Modi and the Bharatiya Janata Party have expressed deep concern over this visual representation.